Hello and welcome to today's 10 minute workout. Um, we're going to be down on the floor for the first half of our workout and you're also going to need access to some sort of chair for the end. Um, so we're going to start down on the floor, no other equipment is going to be needed unless you have a mat and we're going to work and focus on the glutes today. So we're looking for a real glute burner, starting in a four point kneeling position and we're going to do some kickbacks. So we're going to start with the left leg, so we're going to lift that left foot back behind us, squeezing and lifting from our left glute and making sure we're not sinking into the right side. So we're staying nice and balanced, nice and centered, shoulders over our wrists, squeezing and lifting, extending that left leg back behind us by squeezing and engaging our glute. I want you to take a nice steady pace so you can feel the squeeze and the extension in the glute as you send that left foot back. The rest of the body actually stays still, so you're going to feel your core working as well. If you feel like you're shifting over, reset at any time to make sure you're maintaining that nice midline balance throughout. Good. We're going to get two more before slowly bringing our left knee back down to the mat. And then we're going to do exactly the same on the right side, so making sure we're not sinking into our left leg and left side. We send that right foot back behind us, squeeze and lift the glute, and then come back down. That's it. As I say, you can readjust, reset at any time. Really focus on trying to squeeze and lift from the glute. That is allowing us to extend our foot back behind us. So I'm hoping you can start to connect. Don't worry if you don't always feel it whilst you're doing an exercise. Hopefully it's one of those ones you'll feel tomorrow or the next day. That's it, making sure you're not sinking into the left side. Squeeze and lift that left, uh, that right leg, keeping the left leg in a good solid foundation. Last one, and then we're going to bring that knee back down. So we're going to do a fire hydrant next. So we're going back to our left side and we lead with our left knee coming up and out to the side. So gently lift the leg. You're gonna feel that opening and engagement through your glute. And again, making sure you're not sinking into your right side as you lift and engage. Well done. If at any time throughout these movements you start to feel that it's a little bit too much fire, just take a pause, pop the knee down, and then go again. Good. Nice and controlled. Don't sink into the right side. Lift and squeeze from the outer part of your glute. That's it. So by the end of this, you're going to feel a good fire in each and both of your glutes. We're going to do one more on the left side. Popping the knee down, switch to the right. Right knee comes up and out. Make sure we're not sinking into the left side. That's it. Again, at any time, reset if you feel like there's too much pressure going forward into your hands. Just take a little sit back. And then we focus on where you want to focus the squeeze and lift from. That's it. Lift from the right side. And just going as far as you can. Don't start leaning to the left just to get it up higher. Keep everything centered down the midline. That's it, great. Squeeze, control it back down. Two more, and then we're gonna take it over onto our backs. Knees bent, feet on the ground. That's it. So this time we're doing hip thrust. So flat feet and then gently squeeze and lift the hips to draw a straight line from shoulders, hips to knees and then control it on the way back down. Making sure you're not driving through your legs. Try and keep them as relaxed as possible. Really focus on squeezing those glutes and hopefully that feeling nice and awake from those fire hydrants and kickbacks. Keep the knees in line with the toes. And squeeze those glutes as hard as you can. Just adjust your foot position. If you're feeling a lot in the back of the leg, you might just need to bring your feet 
a little bit closer to your to your glutes, to your body. And two more. We're going to just take one breath to reset. And we're going to come up into a bridge. So we're going to hold that position for the next exercise. So a nice big breath in, lift, squeeze, and I'm just going to hold it there. So if that feels good, you can have your hands down. If you want to make it a bit more challenging, you can bring your hands as if to reach up towards the ceiling. And just make sure your lips, your lips, your hips aren't dropping. Keep your glutes engaged. Keep a nice straight line. And we're just holding it here. Focus on taking a few nice deep breaths. Great stuff. And as always, reset if you need to, but try and just keep the squeeze. Breathe through the burn. You're doing well. And then once I count you down, for another 10 seconds or so, we're going to bring it up onto our feet. So keep the squeeze, keep the squeeze, we're very nearly there. Three, two, one, Lower yourself back down, bringing yourself up onto your feet. And we're going to do a curtsy lunge. So we're going to start with our left foot down. We're going to take our right foot down behind, curtsy down, and then come back to the center. So you want to get it back and low. I mean, if you can reach all the way down, that's fantastic, but don't worry if you're not getting that far. Even just to take that little step back is going to engage your glutes. So we're stabilized on our left, taking our right foot back. So we're doing one side at a time, and just getting as low as you feel that you can. This could be a great opportunity to use your chair already. If you find the balance challenging, wonderful. Try and keep your chest up. Now we've got one more. Well done. Just releasing a little shake of the legs. We do exactly the same on the right side. So you plant the right foot, that's where your stable foundation is. Then you're going to take your left foot back and behind. Again, just getting yourself as low as you can. So you might be bringing it all the way down. That nice twist, keeping the chest up, but feeling the work in the glute. That's it. You're nearly there, just keep focusing on the quality. Go as low as you feel in control, driving it back up. That's good. Nearly there. And one more. And release again. Just a little bit of a shake out. We're going to go to our chair. We're going to take a seat. We're going to do our single leg squats. So you're going to plant the left leg. You're going to come up to standing and then control it back down. So we're driving through the glute and the hamstring from our left side. You may feel it in your quad as well, but this is what we're trying to uh, focus on. Getting a nice squeeze, nice flat foot, drive through the foot, drive through that leg. Now, if you need a little bit of assistance, you could, of course, pop your hand on something to hold it, or use a little bit of momentum to help you on the way up and then try and take your foot off the ground on the way back down. That's the stronger portion of the movement. So if you can control it down, it will become easier to come back up. Great stuff, well done. One more on this side. And don't feel too frustrated if you find that challenging. It's definitely one of those ones that is difficult the first time you do it. So plant the right foot, keeping the chest up, come up to standing control it back down. You may find one side is easier than the other. Very normal, all good. Just notice how the body feels, where it feels challenging. Hopefully you can really feel your glutes working. I'll be very interested to find out which of these exercises are your favourites today. Maybe there's more than one. 
Don't forget to pop a note in the comments to let me know how you've got on. And like the video, hit subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're nearly there. Keep it going, keep it strong, keep those knee in line with the toes as you drive up. That's it, well done. Two more. That's it, fantastic. A little bit of a shake out. Well done, you have done another 10 minute workout, the glute burner, and I'll be back for another one tomorrow.